Hi there, Leo. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm going to be doing your August 28th through September 3rd weekly reading. This is usually a love reading. We will see what comes up. This is for Leo, August 28th to September 3rd. This is a new discovery, a new exciting, hot discovery, you know, something that is like very, uh, that you are, will be probably very passionate about, okay? So there's a new hot um, discovery of some sort. I don't know where the word hot is coming from. I don't usually use that, but that's where, the, that's what's coming. Um, this one right here, this is the star. This is about your wishes being fulfilled, okay? Here we have the Magician. This is about awareness, all right? Using your awareness to accomplish something, okay? You have the ability to manifest this week, and I think that you have been using that. Um, this is a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, but it's also about stability and security. Here we have the Five of Cups. This is about things not turning out the way you had hoped, all right? So it looks like it starts out very, like a very passionate, um, exciting beginning of the week where you're feeling a lot of hope, you're feeling really good, it feels like you, you're feeling on top of things, um, things are in control, you're feeling positive, um, you're feeling stable and secure, but then we have this Five of Cups where, some, where you turn, <laughs> it's like a turning point, and it's like then you start to feel like something isn't the way you wanted it something isn't didn't turn out the way you had hoped and okay we'll come back sometimes i try to go too fast um this right here is a uh, scorpio pisces cancer Okay, and I feel like you feel like your your wishes might be fulfilled with this person. Could be somebody with a lot of water in their chart. There could about be a lot of steaminess between you people, between the both of you. A lot of steaminess. This is an Aquarius. Okay, it looks like there's some kind of false foundation though, and where who's the false foundation with? Because there's a false foundation and you're aware of it already. You already know what this false foundation is because this is awareness. And that's why you've been thinking about it a lot. You've been contemplating about it a lot. You've been thinking about it. It's been taking up some of your space. Okay? And I think, you know, it could cause some heartbreak. It could be, the heartbreak could, you know, it's kind of odd because we have a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and we have a Taurus. Virgo Capricorn. We also have an Aquarius here. We have a Gemini. I consider this a Gemini. Um, but here we have this heartbreak. Things not turning out the way you'd hoped. And here you are with this person. Okay. But the tower is here. So something is... Um, not as it seems. Here you are again. So this must... It could be... There's several people here. <laughs> this is love, okay? This is love. This is you, or you, I mean man or woman, but it's a couple as well. So I think this is definitely a relationship reading. All right, this is a relationship reading where um, 
perhaps something isn't turning out the way you'd hoped, even though you've been hoping it would. And there's a lot of steam and passion between the two of you. But it looks like there is a false foundation and you are aware of it. Okay, and you've been thinking about it a lot. It's been taking up a lot of your space because it feels like there is love, but there's a loss. Which is weird. <laughs> it's exactly what it is. There's love, but somebody's not accepting it. It's not right. So I'm not sure what the hell is going on. It looks, you know, like... This is supposed to be good news regarding a relationship. So maybe you have been crying over a past relationship. And you've been moping over a past relationship. And, and it's been hampering your new love. Maybe this is a past relationship. This Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo that you've been moping about. But now that you've found somebody that... You know, is very you're very have a lot of passion with and a lot of steamy excitement. You know, and perhaps love. You probably need to let this let this go, so you can release that heartache, and that you can accept love. Because you can't keep your defenses up forever. You cannot keep your defenses up forever. Let the past go so that this new relationship can blossom. It's going to take willpower, it's going to take courage, and it's going to take confidence. But this is a, a relationship where I think you guys could be a, a couple. If you're not already a couple. Alright? But perhaps this, this false foundation right here. That's you still being attached to this. That's not true. You're not still attached. We're going to get some more cards. The magician is also about shedding the old. It is time to shed the past. That's all in the past. It's no longer... Um, growing. It's no longer building. Alright? So whoever this person is in the past, this person could be um, this could be a past partner of yours or a past partner of your partner's. Okay? That is causing you to feel like hurt or rejection or some kind of heartache, okay? But you don't need to feel that because right next to there is love, a lot of it. It's been, you, but you're, you're trying to deny it for some reason. I don't know why. You have your guard up and there, you don't need to have your guard up. You need to let your guard down. I think things are moving in the right direction. I think that, you know, the conflicts, the the petty, I think maybe over here there's been some petty arguments over in this relationship over here. I think there's, because, you know, this parts of this will resonate with some and then this part will resonate with some and maybe not, you know, and I mean, it all mixes up. But over here in this, this area, this, there's these conflicts, these petty things, they're just petty. They're petty. There's still a lot of hope, okay? There's still a lot of hope. Here, things are moving in the right direction. All right? The seeds have been planted, and now they're starting to grow. All right? Things are starting to happen. This is about listening. This person is blocking you. Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgil. The previous heartache with this person, and this could be somebody with a lot of earth in their chart, could be somebody, any sign, really. Okay? This 
person is blocking you from experiencing the full amount of love over here. No kidding. And now, this is it's time for you to let go. I mean, it's time for you to um, open your eyes. All right? It's time for you to... You can't pretend. You can't let this be ignored anymore. And you can't ignore that this is a problem anymore. You can't ignore that you're not still connected to this. This is delays at a stalemate. You're at a stalemate because of this other person. This relationship's at a stalemate. And it is affecting your wishes being fulfilled. Okay, because this is your wishes being fulfilled. It's also... You know, it's being your wish, wishes being fulfilled in, in love, but feeling like I'm all set, you know what I mean? Or I'm good, or, you know, but just kind of being like, but you're not good, you know what I mean? You're not all set, being too proud, all right? Okay, <clears throat> this is the page of pentacles. Under here we have you um, being defensive, like you have to protect yourself, you know, and that's what it is, to protect yourself. Here we have, this is the page of pentacles, okay? It's time to really start building your foundation. Over here, whatever this stalemate is, this whatever this connection is that is causing faults, like... It's causing a false feeling of heartache, okay? You can, and I'm not saying that it's not true how you feel, but you can let that go. You can let that go. You can let your guard down, all right? It's time to build a new foundation, broaden your horizons. Don't give up because of petty arguments. Don't give up because there's a stalemate for a minute, you know? Don't give up because um, things are moving slowly. Okay, I think things have happened fast and perhaps now things have slowed right down. Whereas things came so quick before, things are now like slowing down and things are more like at a stalemate. But that's, they're at a stalemate because there's still a, a bit of... Um, heartache or heart pain or uh, you know a need to protect your heart that is false okay but it's not false I know feelings are real that's hard to explain okay you're still connected to some heartbreak that you that really you know, it may have happened or it may not have happened. That's where the faults comes from. And you're just feeling like it's going to happen. So you're protecting yourself. That's how, what I was going to say. So, Leo, I think that is all I have. I don't see any need to to go any further. I think the the main message this week is to give this relationship a chance, okay? I think whatever's up here that's causing this heartache, you know, things not turning out the way you'd hoped, feeling a loss, I think that is, um, that's blocking you from this relationship, this previous loss or previous hurt or previous thought of being hurt is blocking this relationship from moving forward. <coughs> Sorry I didn't zoom that in sooner. That seems to be a, a problem for me today. Um, there it is.